my advocacy about our topic prioritizing prevention, intervention, control, and eradication of diseases and levels of prevention of controlled efforts. As the modernization of technology becomes advanced, many diseases have also been discovered. Regardless of this, many doctors and scientists also discover how to prevent, control, intervention, and eradicate the different diseases such as communicable and non-communicable diseases. Different diseases have different levels of prevention. It may be primary, secondary, or tertiary prevention. Primary prevention's purpose is to forestall the onset of illness or injury during the prepathogenesis period or before the disease process begins. Secondary prevention is the early diagnosis and prompt treatment of diseases before the disease becomes advanced and disability becomes severe. One of the most important secondary prevention measures is health screenings. Tertiary prevention's goal is to retrain, re-educate, and rehabilitate the patient who has already incurred a disability. Tertiary preventive measures include those that are applied after significant pathogenesis has occurred. Therapy for a heart patient is an example of tertiary prevention. It is very important that patients must know what levels of prevention they need to do and needs to follow. Primary prevention is used to educate people about different kinds of disease. This level of prevention helps people to have extra knowledge. It will help them to examine themselves if they are experiencing this kind of symptoms that can trigger and fall to diseases. If the disease was being early discovered, secondary prevention can be applied. Health screenings is very important in this level. This will enable patients to be treated. If the patient has already possessed this disease, tertiary prevention must be applied, such as patients who is suffering paralyzed or stroke and undergone therapy and different treatment. With this topic we have been reported, I realized that I can be a voice to help my community that each and every one of us must take our part and responsibility in spreading the truth on how to prevent different kinds of diseases in its levels. Communities must support and accept the people who have different diseases, like persons who have conditions such as HIV or AIDS, and also cancer. It may be a communicable or non-communicable diseases, community must support and help them. The community must recognize the importance of preventing different diseases. Extend help on people who have diseases. Communities can also provide a supportive environment wherein patients cannot feel that they are alone and they are not accepted in the community. Different programs in community can be a big help in giving information and awareness to youth and every members of the community on how to prevent different diseases, such as how to prevent lung cancer and tuberculosis. Health education, health promotion programs, safe housing projects, character building, personality development programs, immunization against different diseases, and practice of personal hygiene such as hand washing, the use of rubber gloves, and chlorination of community's water supply are some of the programs and activities that will help in spreading awareness and preventing different diseases. Different seminars are very helpful. And with the lessons I learned in this topic, I can be a voice to spread the information. Community can also promote a healthy community, such as having Sumba sessions every morning and also the development of recreational activities such as teaching them different sports and activities that will serve as their leisure time. Different activities and sports can lessen and reduce 
the chances of having different diseases and illness. But also, it is not only the responsibility of the community and environment, but also we are the one to take good care of our body. In able to spread awareness, we must start within ourselves. We must be aware on what we eat. And having consultation when we are experiencing different symptoms of diseases. Check-up is very important. It is also important to engage in different physical activities to make our body strong and physically fit to prevent diseases. Every person must increase his or her resistance to fight against different diseases. In preventing diseases, I realized that the one who will help me is myself. Awareness and taking good care of our body is very important. To be an example is a big responsibility, and it must start within ourselves. And this will enable us to spread it to other people. One ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure.